Good evening everyone, how are we all doing? I hope you're all fine. It is very red hot outside and the only cool room is here in my bedroom. Uh, yeah. So, sorry for the late video because I am absolutely wiped out. Um, yesterday I just wiped, took, uh, I can't speak, took all my energy. And I have on paper today, and my brain fog is so bad today. I won't continue. Um, speaking, speaking to the GP today, um, and he's sending, he's referring to someone. I can't really call him. Um, but sorry, I'm just sat awkwardly in my room. I'm using my new ring, uh, light ring thing. So anyway, so I've got to go back and get some blood done and see someone about he brought up about because sometimes you can get misdiagnosed he said with fibro and this doctor has also made more sense than ones that i've seen in the past he said it's it could be like is it ms or something because of some of the symptoms i'm talking about balancing my balance um speech blur vision or oh, my vision has been really bad recently um, but he goes, it might not be, but we can talk, refer you and we can get someone, you know, to assess me or whatever. I don't know how it works. It's referring me anyway. So he goes, sometimes people get diagnosed with fibro just because they can't not. And I remember him saying that people get diagnosed with fibro because they can't find out what, what, oh, I can't speak, something get diagnosed with fibro because I can't figure out what it is that's wrong with people so that's what thinking but yeah so now I'm like scratching my head so I have did a bit of research of this condition myself so I'm doing that I've got a bit of a headache um, and I'm like yep yeah, that one yep yeah, that one yep yeah, that one I'm not saying that it is MS but possibility so so I've got Ronnie in here as well. It's cool for him. He can stretch out. It's not stuck in a cage. He's sat there needing a blanket. And he's, you know, like... Um, he's stopped now, I've said it. He's got a little lampshade on. He's not happy about that. But I thought, if he's in here, it's nice and quiet for him. He can recover. He's not jumping up at the cat stand or all like that. And it's not stuck in a cage all the time. So, yeah. Anyhow... Pretty exhausted, not really done much today. Oh, I did see my CPN uh, and she made me fill out this questionnaire and I'm like, you have to explain stuff to me today. Like, I don't understand what you're saying to me. I just could not retain the information that she was telling me. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll get some answers. Maybe it is fine, but it might not be. I don't know. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> well, it does because, uh, you know, when you need to know what's wrong because... You, you, you know your own body, don't you? Yeah. Anyhow, I'm coming here as well. What are you doing, Ronnie? Like that. On a blanket. Uh, I've got my laptop here and I'm just going to have a check on my um, YouTube channel. Adjust things and see what... Um, to keep and what to get rid of because I've got I've done loads of YouTube shorts and some of them may look the same but they're not like today go across and have a look Millie and my son the way that dog just thinks she's a human being she just throws herself back like that and when you got a tickler she puts her arms around your a paws around your hands so you can't move it's hilarious anyway so I was actually in here early because I thought I've not really done much today. I've just been, obviously I've been to see my CPN. Brain fog's really bad. I can't concentrate. I'll just come in and do little bits at a time. And then I found the bag of sweets that I bought what, yesterday. Yeah. The American sweets. And Olivia goes, get this one. Get this. This is American. I'm like, Olivia, I won't eat. I can't eat sour sweets. It, it, I can't, even the top, speak, speak. Even the so even saying it makes my mouth water so badly that's how bad i can't look um but i've seen all sorts yesterday and i'm like oh 
that's my favourite. Who remember? I think I've it. I probably caught a thing you did on my uh, channel anyway. But thank you for all the views and comments. Uh, I am trying my best to do better videos, but you know. I'm trying, that's all I can try. Same with this access to nursing. I'm just going to give it a try. If I don't manage it and I don't pass it, then it's not the end of the world. Or at least I've tried. But now these doctor's appointments, blood tests are on, on a, a roll. Is that what you say? How you say it? Is in the pipe work, whatever you want to say. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Hopefully I get some answers to what it is. Uh, I, I visited my mum last night and a little cheeky monkey said to me, you're putting some weight on, aren't you? I'm like, thanks a lot for noticing. Yes, I have. <laughs> I think it's... Uh, I'll take a bedding over. The bedding I bought from Home Bargains yesterday, mm -mm, I've lost the receipt and I needed to take it back. But she was like, it's all right, it's fine. So you know at the bottom of the duvet when you're fastening it on those poppers, there's a row of poppers there and one at the top. So I did that. I'm like, where's the rest of them? No top pop, uh, popper, so I couldn't close it. My mum goes, it's been fine, it's all right. You know, like do, your mothers do. It's okay, I'm grateful that you got me it. And she's like, how much do I owe? So you don't owe me anything, it's my, my treat. Anyway, so that was that. I went to visit her, and the time I come back, all I, I really wiped the heck out. I could, and then I wanted to go to bed, but because my son popped out yesterday, all the dog did, 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 and I can't have her in my room when I'm trying to sleep because she just won't settle with me. I, I have to sometimes go and sometimes I don't like to lay on my son's bed because he's a sweat, he's a monkey anyway. So I have to lay down on his bed just for her to settle down, but then she thinks it's playtime with me. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's been a little monkey ripping up the duvet, so now my son needs to replace his duvet, his bedding. Hello, Ronnie. So I'm I'm hoping those cleaning fairies will come back today and cooking fairies and do cook the tea because it's about half past five now and Olivia's away at Young Carers so I don't have to worry about making tea till about six but I'm like, come on cleaning fairies, you know what, you, like you're wishing. Can you go and just make dinner for me and clean up my house? <laughs> I managed, I'm not going to lie, I did manage a little bit of the... I did the front room, managed to hoover a little bit. But that little bit, I had to sit down because it felt like at the bottom of my spine, it felt like someone pressed on a nerve and my legs just went like that. So I thought, I better sit down before I fall down. Um, yeah, and the, the weather out there is horrendous. I've been told it's going to be a heat wave. Um, so I feel like, you know, I don't know if anyone else feels like, I'm not complaining, I'm not, I'm just feeling, you know, sometimes it feels like you've got a scratch, like a, and you look, there's not there, that's what my skin feels a bit like today. These, these I got, uh, yummy, yummy for me tummy, very nice. However, let's talk about my diet, because I do, I do really need to lose some weight. And, uh... Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to start it on Monday because it's a fresh week. I need to buy the correct milk because you've got to buy, is it skimmed milk, the red top milk? I don't know if it's changed now. I don't know. I've not bought it for a while. I'm going to stick to it this time because I do need to lose some weight. My mum noticed it last night and I'm like, you know, she's noticing it. Everyone else will be noticing it. And unfortunately, some of it is down to my medication that, uh, so I've got metazapine, quetiapine, and patriptyline, and then three, do make your gain weight. Ow, that was my wrist. That being said, guys, I'm going to have to go because I keep putting it off. I do need to go in that kitchen, and I need a cup of tea. For, in fact, I've only had one cup of tea today. It's not like me. I'm usually thirsty all day long. Um. And I'll catch up with you in the next video, probably tomorrow. Oh, it's Friday tomorrow. Where did this week go? Um, Livia's going to be doing some cookery classes tomorrow with me. She, I'm just leaving her to it. She needs to learn. Um, so I'm going to get to make the lasagna, see if she can do a better job than me. Because at the minute, oh, a boss. Oh, did I say it about the Timu? I'm not too sure if I did. Be careful because people's accounts are getting hacked. 
So mine and Hannah's accounts have been deleted and taken all the personal information off there and deactivated. So just be careful guys because there is accounts are getting hacked. With that being said, I'm going to have to go because I've been jabbing on about 10 minutes and I need to see to these animals because it's tea time and kids, even though Olivia's not going to be back till after half six. But thank you again for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you've been up to today and if, what have you been misdiagnosed by your doctors or you feel like you, you haven't got fibro but it's somewhere else. Let me know as well because... Um, I am hopefully I'm, hopefully, I'm not the only person that thinks that way because like the doctors have said to me before, when they can't diagnose you with anything, they give it as fibro. I feel like I've got my, got my t-shirt back to front. I've been walking around all day with my t-shirt back to front. I'm like, I felt weird then. I'm like, why is that? Little bit less. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go get a bath anyway, uh, shower, bath, whatever freshen up and feel might feel a bit better i'll catch up with you tomorrow see you later enjoy the rest of your night and if you sat out in the beer garden have one for me <laughs> see you later